Wow, look at that. And if we can change the direction, <gasps> that's fantastic. Look at all the pretty patterns. Now, Alex, I think Mr. Maker would love this, don't you? I think he'd love it, Andy. And let's join him now. there great to see you again i'm just putting the finishing touches to my aeroplane model ah, there we go there all finished it's taken me ages to glue this together and because i was using lots of gloopy glue i made sure i put plenty of old paper down just in case i got it a mess <laughs> oh no how did that get there and how did that get there? Oh. How did that get on there? And, hey, what's that? Oh, how did that get there? Oh, well, I suppose by using old paper, it doesn't really matter if it gets ripped up and torn into pieces. Plus, it gives me a great idea. Let's try something. Try using torn up bits of paper to make this super city picture. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers! Come on! Some coloured paper and a ruler. A glue stick. A black pen and a pencil. Some newspaper. Whoa! Now, to make a torn paper city picture, like this one here, find yourself a large piece of coloured paper. And starting at the bottom of the paper, draw a large rectangle with a pencil. Next, draw a tall pointy triangle shape, about as tall as the rectangle. And how about two more rectangles? You don't have to be neat, and in fact, you can draw whatever shapes you like. You could even add a curved roof like this. Now for the tricky bit. We need to rip along all of these lines. But you can use a ruler to help you like this. Place the ruler down alongside one of your pencil lines. Hold the ruler down firmly and then tear the paper against it. Put these pieces to one side for the moment because we'll need those later and then get yourself another piece of coloured paper. This darker shade will look rather good. Then let's grab a pencil and start drawing some more shapes. Now you can use a white pencil here if you like because it really shows up the pencil lines. Just let your pencil go wherever it wants. And when you're happy with your buildings, tear them out as well. Put these pieces to one side as well and grab your last piece of paper. Now again, this works really well if it's an even darker shade. Now let's start drawing some more building shapes, but this time they're going to be joined up at the bottom of the page and it's a great idea if the drawings are quite small. And when you're happy with your buildings, tear these out as well. Now get another piece of paper and very carefully place your biggest buildings at the back. Put your middle sized buildings in the middle and the smallest buildings on top. There, very nice. Now we can get gluing. It's looking great already, but let's add something extra with some torn up pieces of newspaper. 
just tear out little rectangles or squares for windows and doors. <laughs> tear as many pieces as you want and arrange them onto your buildings. Now all that's left to do is add some extra detail with a black pen. Just carry on until you're happy with your picture. This one's going to have lots of windows. <laughs> it's a fabulous torn paper city. And there are some other ideas you could try too. A countryside scene. It's got rolling hills and torn paper flowers. Or even a beach with torn paper sailing boats and gentle torn waves. So you see, something great came out of me ripping up all that paper. I knew it would. Now, where did I put that model plane, eh? Oh, no! Oh, well, that was just plain silly, wasn't it, eh? Whew. Who's that snoring? Oh, it's the shapes. They're asleep again. Let's wake them up! I am a circle. What's hiding in the rectangles? Can you guess? It's a merry-go-round! Well done, Rectangle! It's time to get back on the shelf! <laughs> 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 oh, I'm glad we woke the shapes up. They're so funny. I loved it. Here, <laughs> yeah. minute make time. Hey, hey, hey! It's minute make time. <laughs> now, have you ever been stuck for something to wear at a fancy dress party? Well, here's a great problem solver. Oh, it's a fancy dress headdress that's fun to make. Now, to make one of these, you will need lots and lots of coloured feathers, a plastic jewel, ooh, look at it, some stickers, a glue stick, some sticky tape, and a strip of card. Now, this strip of card needs to be able to fit all the way around your head. Now, that's quite tricky to do, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? You must be joking! Well, thanks a lot, Toki, but I think I can do it. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get the strip and start laying out our feathers. Now, you can use whatever colour feathers you like in whatever order. There we go. Put those ones down there. Now, I'm going to get the green ones. They look nice. That way. There we go. Just line them up. And now I think two yellow ones would look nice, either side there. And then how about these ones? Yes, they can go on the end there. Now I need to get a long piece of sticky tape that puts them all in place. There we go, Booster! it's very long. Booster! Going as quick as I can. Right, here we go. Gonna stick all the feathers down like that. There we go, there we go. Now if I turn that over, I can stick on my jewel into the middle. There we are, bit of glue there. There we go. And now let's put some stickers on. There's a sticker there. And the sticker there, I'm running out of time. There we go. And now if I just get a bit of sticky tape, I can fix it in place. 
I've done it! Look at that! It's a fancy dress headdress! Only just! And if you've got more than a minute, there are some other ideas you could try. Oh, very nice! This one's got pipe cleaners and paper details. Oh, and this one's got twigs and leaves! Fancy dress headdresses, made in a minute! Why don't you give it a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it! Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Get an adult to help measure a strip of card that fits around your head. Arrange feathers along it and tape them into place. Turn it over and stick on some jewels and stickers. Finally, tape the ends together and your fancy dress headdress is complete. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? I don't know. Let's find out. I am purple. I am green. Done, everyone. See you next time. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now take a look at this. This is a great pattern picture, and it's made using wax crayons and ink. It's very easy to do, but makes a picture that looks so good you'll be able to frame it. You will need white paper, paint brushes. Crayons, different coloured inks, and water. To make a pattern picture, draw lots of shapes and dots onto the paper with a white crayon. This is quite tricky because you can't see what you're doing, but all will be revealed. Now do the same with other colours. It's time for some magic. Mix the coloured ink with water and paint rectangles and squares all over the top of the wax shapes. You can do as many shapes as you like. And when it's dry, look how the wax crayons magically resist the paint. You can see the wax drawings underneath the painted shapes. It's a brilliant pattern picture. What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is frame it. I like making pictures out of all sorts of things. So, let's make a picture out of lolly sticks. Wow, it's a grasshopper. I'm just looking through my seaside box. It's full of all the things I take with me when I go on holiday. Let's have a look. Uh, yes, here's my bucket and spade. Very nice. What else have we got? Oh, brilliant. Look, my mask and snorkel. <laughs> and of course, not forgetting my beach ball! Brilliant! Oh, look. There's also lots of shells in here, too. Now, I found this one when I went diving under the sea. Oh, 
I said oh, I love swimming under the sea. Yeah, and it's given me a great idea. Let's make something. A super shimmering shell grotto that looks like it's on the bottom of the sea. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> some shells. <laughs> some paint. A paper plate. <laughs> Some gloopy PVA glue. And some glitter and a black pen. <laughs> Plus, we'll also need some air drying clay that you can get from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> right, I'll put our air drying clay there for now. Now, to make your very own shell grotto, like this one here, you need to push some air drying clay onto a paper plate like this. Now we're ready to bring in our shells. Now there are all sorts of different types, but it's a good idea to use a good mixture of shapes and sizes. Now let's start placing them into the clay. Let's start with the biggest shell and we can push it into the clay at the back like this. You can arrange the other shells however you like, and then leave the clay to dry. <laughs> when the clay's dry, like this, you can paint your shell grotto a nice underwater colour, like a purple, a green, or maybe even a blue. Now to do that, we need to make a painty mixture that's half paint and half gloopy glue. There we go, let's give it a mix. There! Now we can paint this painty mixture over a shell grotto. And how about adding a few highlights with a shiny colour? Now silver paint will work really well for this. So let's bring in some silver painty mixture and paint some on. There! And now whilst the paint's still wet, Let's sprinkle some colourful glitter all over our shell grotto. Now the glitter will stick because the paint is still wet and it will make the grotto really sparkle. Now it's a good idea to do this on some old paper, some newspaper or a tray as this can get a bit messy. Then shake off all the extra glitter for this amazing effect. There. Now for the windows, we can use a black pen to draw squares on our shelves and then we can paint them yellow in the middle. You can do as many windows as you want. Just draw little black squares. then paint them yellow. What a brilliant effect! A fantastic shimmering shell grotto. And you can try any design you like. This one's covered in green paint and green glitter. Or how about using a bigger shell and adding some more shell buildings like this? Let's go! Time to go! Time to go! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box! If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas.
on Sea Baby. <laughs> 